Today sees the running of Australia's greatest weight for age event, the $3 million sporting bet Cox Plate. So join me trackside as we follow all the colour and excitement at Mooney Valley. 1,500 racegoers in the Pure Pleasure Marquee enjoyed full hospitality and kicked back to the Stafford Brothers. Yeah, having a great time here in the uh, Pure Pleasure Marquee. So um, back my first winner for the day then. So otherwise, other than that, I'm going, uh, going OK, having a few drinks and uh, enjoying some good times. The Sunline Suite also attracted a few familiar faces. And you know, I've been promised one thing. In the big race, when the horses come round that final bend, the raw is like a grand final AFL. So I'm expecting big things from Mooney Valley. It's a done deal setback by missing the Caulfield Stakes hasn't deterred punters who made the Group 1 champion warm favourite ahead of the big grey Poussons de Lune and Gay Waterhouse's Fiorente. The $3 million event also attracted two overseas runners. Into the straight still, Seamus Award and Fiorende going at one another. Three lengths in front from Super Cool. Here comes Happy Trails. It's a done deal, was boxing on, but Seamus Award still led by a length and a half, and he shook off Fiorente. Happy Trails is coming down the outside, and Ford Teller's coming. Seamus Award in front. Happy Trails having the last lunge at him. He dives, misses. Seamus Award, the maiden, has won it from Happy Trails and Fiorente. Today we just got our chance to get out there, make our own luck, and just show what a good colt this is. Yeah, he's, he's he could have easily been a Guineas winner and a Cox Plate winner, but uh, we're pretty happy to take the Cox Plate. Uh, they're not easy to win. You know, these majors, your opportunities don't come along that often. And uh, really proud of everyone's input today that we've, we've pulled off again. Yeah, it hasn't really sunk in yet, but um, it's a fantastic feeling. Um, been wanting to get a Group 1 really badly, and what a way to do it in the Cox Plate. I just want to thank Danny O'Brien and his owners for um, putting me on the horse. And I'm so happy I can um, make him repay them for that. Well, in his first ever victory, an all the way win for three year old Seamus Award, trained by Danny O'Brien and ridden by Chad Schofield. The Mitchelton Wines Vars featured John O'Shea's Savvy Nature and Drago, who were both Victoria Derby bound. Whip in the left hand from McDonald. He wants to lay in, but he takes the lead from all rigged up and pinstripe lane running on. He hasn't been happy on the course, Savvy Nature. Away he goes by two and a half, all rigged up second. Pinstripe lane a length and a quarter third. Yeah, I was wondering, should I pop off three wide and stroll forward? I knew this was a key lead up into the derby and we're full steam ahead now. We get him on that big track, he's going to be ultra hard to beat. Sneaker Peak, Shoreham and the James and Bart Cummings trained precedents were out to do their best in the Drake International Cup. Precedence dash to the front now from Mourinho. Shoreham's out and starting to finish. Precedence by two lengths. Shoreham trying hard, but old Precedence is back and Bart's in the winner's stall. Well, someone should tell Greg Carpenter that if he gives this horse a penalty, he gets a run in the cup, then Bart will be there on cup day. He'll be there to cheer him on. A fantastic day here today at Mooney Valley. Next stop is the world famous Melbourne Cup Carnival. Kick starting with Amy Victoria Derby Day. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.